Hey everybody, it's good to see you again. I hope you enjoyed our story about Farmer Brown's field trip when he was out busy planting all of his seeds. Um, and I thought we could do a fun craft to go along with that since it's too wet and yucky to go out and actually plant the seeds. But we can still have fun with things that grow. And I thought maybe we could do a craft that involves a lot of bean seeds and bean pods. Um, and this is what I found. Um, we can make a design flowering plants in the good soil, which is uh, parallel to the parable that we read today. And to do this, all you really need are some construction paper, um, white and a color of your choice, um, and then a variety of uh, beans. And um, what I did is I have um, a bag full of mixed bean seeds from soups and whatnot. Um, there are all kinds of colorful beans that are in this mix. Um, I spent about an hour separating them all into different containers. If you don't want to do that, you can buy them individually. You can buy um, peas separate and black um, black beans and red, be red beans and brown beans and kidney beans and navy beans and black eyed peas and all the others. You can buy them separate. It's more fun to buy them in a mix because then your children can also have fun sorting. They can sit around with all the cups and they can pick the different colors. You can do them by shapes because this with my white seeds. We had really large and medium and small and some that were really round. And of course, these are the black dots on them. So it'd be kind of fun to sort them into different sizes and shapes. The other thing that you can do with these seeds, um, as you notice, I have on my final craft, I've got some blue that we put in here. Um, there aren't a whole lot of seeds that come in the color blue, so we went ahead and dyed them. And I just took um, these that are, um, I think these are what people call black eyed peas or chickpeas, um, but whatever they're called. Um, I just stuck them in a little container with some food coloring of my choice and a little bit of water. And I let them sit for just a few minutes and then I popped them out and they were a beautiful blue color. You could do this with any other colors really if you wanted to. Um, I just wanted to have a little bit of blue color to the natural color that was in my garden. So those are options for you to do too. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is um, you're going to want to make your frame for this um, picture first. I actually did mine last and then I found it difficult to glue um, the white paper to it because of the, the weight of the seeds on top. So I recommend that we do this first. So you want to take your white construction paper and you want to make it to about a five by seven size more or less um, just if you have a, um, a regular size sheet of construction paper which is usually nine by twelve just cut it in half so you'd have nine by six it doesn't have to be five by seven um, if you're using computer paper that's eight and a half by eleven then you just want to cut it in half so you have eight and a half by five and a half and I'm um, gonna go from there so when you have that then you just want to take your um, color construction paper and you're going to want to cut it so that it leaves an edge um, around around the edge of your paper so you can get a nice little colored frame and I cheat and use my scrapbook cutter rather than using my scissors and there you have that you can discard that construction paper I'm sure we'll use it in another craft elsewhere and then you just want to come along here with your glue you can use a glue stick if you like um, but for gluing the beans, you're going to really want all-purpose glue or school glue um, just because they won't stick as well to the glue stick. You can use a hot glue gun or a craft stick, but I find it more fun to use this kind of glue with little kids because we don't want them to get burned with your hot glue guns. Okay, so then just lay the paper on top like that. And we are ready to design our picture. It can be anything you want it to be. Maybe you want to make a rainbow. Maybe you want to make um, a vegetable garden. Maybe you want to plant ground with little carrots in it. That would be kind of cute. Um, we could actually do that for this one just to be something different. So I'd want to draw my ground so I kind of know where I'm going here. And you want to take your glue and you want to put a lot of it on here. This is the one time where we really want to go heavy with glue. Because like I said, um, these are hard to stick. And so we want to get all of our, our seeds on there. But I'm actually going to start, if we're going to do carrots, I'm going to start with our carrots here because we want them to go in first. And so we're going to look for more of the orange colored seeds, maybe some of the brown ones too, because sometimes your carrots aren't exactly orange colored. So you want to just take a bunch of these um, so you can kind of see where they're at and put them down. 
because carrots live underground, don't they? And we'll put a couple here towards the top. And we can move some of the glue over here, like so. Your fingers are going to get messy, so if you want to use your pencil, you can. If you've got kids that don't like to get their fingers messy, that's fine. We can do another carrot over here, a carrot in the ground. And make our little garden patch. I'm looking for just the orangish and the yellow ones here for our carrot. I'm going to put a couple more up here because your carrots can be kind of wider at the top than they are at the bottom. They get kind of pointy at the bottom, don't they? And, whoops, renegade carrots. And we'll do one more. And we just kind of make them come to a little point like so. Whoops, he stuck my finger. There we go. So it would be the carrots, and we could scooch these off to the side now, and maybe we could plant, um, maybe we'd have some, some beets in our garden. Beets are red. They also live under the ground, so we'll take a couple of the kidney beans, and we'll put a couple of beet plants here. They're going to have big bushy leaves above ground, so we'll make sure that we can get these on here so you can see better. We're going to get a couple of beets in our beet plant here. And maybe we could do another beet plant right next to it. And we'll put a few more in here underneath. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and put some, some dirt around our plants. And I'm gonna use a mixture of brown and black beans for the dirt. You just want to lay those on there. Be careful not to crush your, your plants that we've planted now in the ground. And you can put a couple of these along the edge here. And a couple up here. And kind of make like a mosaic of your plants in the ground. Get a couple more up here. And so, now when this dries, when you pick it up, some will probably fall to the ground. That's okay. Just add more glue and pop it back in there and be done with it. Okay, now, in order to show where our plants are at, we're going to kind of need some green leafy stalks at the top, aren't we? So we're going to take our glue and we're going to make a V-shape for the leaf stalks that show off our plants. And the beef or the, the bean, the beet plants, they've got bigger green stalks, don't they? Maybe you guys don't like beets, but I grew up loving um, beets the way my grandmother used to make them. The oil and vinegar, they're so yummy. And we can just drop some green leafy bean seeds on here for our stalks. And for little kids with little fingers, this works a little bit easier because they've got tinier hands than I do. But you still get the idea. And some for our carrots. We'll use my pencil here. Push a couple of these in place. And maybe we even want to do a corn stalk. Maybe we should put a corn stalk on the side over here. So to do that, we would just draw a big glue line like so. And maybe we'll come up a little bit. And your corn stalk, of course, is going to be green. So we're gonna put him, put all these little green um, pea seeds here up along the stalk. Just like that. And then when we get up here, we can put our corn in. So now we're going to want all these. We're going to draw another little yellow thing here, or another piece of glue here. So we can put some yellow for our corn in here. 
And we're just going to lay them in here one by one. Your gardens are usually so beautiful because there's so many colors in them. And there's our corn. And I can't think of any blue plants that we would plant to put my blue ones in, but we could put some flowers in here. And if we want to put some flowers in, we'll put a little bit of green down here for the base. And then we could put a bit of glue here. And we could take a couple of our blue um, colored plants and make a blue plant right in the middle. And so that gives us a little bit of color for our garden. And I think I need a little bit of dirt over here for my corn to grow in. It looks like it's just growing on its own. Maybe you wanted to design a little creek or a little river running through your garden or a pond maybe. You could do that with the blue seeds. Again, your imagination is a limit here. Do whatever you'd like to do to make your garden pretty and festive. If you really like, you could get out paint later when this dries and paint a blue sky or a sun in the, in the sky or put some puffy clouds in or maybe you want to use these big seeds for some clouds you could put up in the sky um, to show that it's a beautiful day and you could have puffy clouds clouds like that in the sky really you can do however you like this to do just let it dry really good overnight and like i said when you pick it up again after it's fully dried if you have a couple seeds that come off that's okay um, but when you get all done you should be able to pick it up. Oh, see, I lost the seed. You can hang it up and um, put it up on the wall for everybody to enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed our craft today. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.